I'm Mike Pompeo, 70th U.S. Secretary of State and now Chairman of the Advisory Board of the New Center. As you can imagine, there's a lot more job security in this gig than the one in my last one. And the coffee here is a lot better than it was at Foggy Bottom as well. Our goal with these videos, pretty simple, to talk directly to the Chinese people about U.S.-China relations. And that's what we'll start doing with this series over the next few months. And then we'll keep it up. There's a reason we're doing this. The Chinese Communist Party doesn't represent the Chinese people. It's that simple. The CCP is a one-party, totalitarian, political organization committed to a foreign, any Chinese ideology. It started out as a group of brutal, radical extremists. And frankly, not much has changed. The worst mass murder in history was Mao. His victims, mostly Chinese. The same is true of Deng Xiaoping, who murdered pro-democracy protesters in Tiananmen Square. Xi Jinping continues that communist legacy even today. There is no bigger enemy for the CCP than you, the Chinese people. I know this is true because all my interactions with the CCP leaders convince me that what the CCP truly cares about is maintaining their stranglehold over the Chinese people. That's it. That is their paramount interest. The CCP hates the United States because they're paranoid. Paranoid that the Chinese people will be inspired by the example of American freedom, the world's oldest and most influential democracy. I've gotten to know the work of brave Chinese freedom fighters like Cardinal Zen, Jimmy Lai from Hong Kong, and countless others who try to hold the regime accountable. There are a lot of heroes, in small ways and big, throughout China. They're the people who worship every day in secret houses, who commemorate Tiananmen Square, and who every day refuse to believe the CCP's lies. But of course, the worst lie the CCP tells is that it speaks on behalf of China and of Chinese civilization. And I think, I think the CCP knows it's a lie. If Beijing thought it represented the Chinese people, it wouldn't spend more on domestic repression and surveillance than it does on external defense. If the CCP represented the Chinese people, it would hold a free and fair election tomorrow. But it won't. The so-called People's Republic seems to have a problem with its own people. Today, I want to talk about how the CCP tries to divide Americans based on race and how it lies to the world about the United States of America. I try not to go on social media too much, but during the Trump administration, I'd check Twitter at least once a day. Back then, it was a good way to see if I still had a job. Of course, of course, Twitter's not allowed in China, but the CCP propagandists use it, and they subject the Chinese people to a lot of the same lies Americans see every day from Twitter mobs. The worst lie they tell is that America is somehow a racist country. That is the exact opposite of the truth. America is the only country in the world founded on the idea that all humans are treated and created equally. America is not perfect, but as my friend South Carolina Senator Tim Scott says, original sin is never the end of the story, not in our souls and not in our nation. The real story is always redemption. We fought a civil war over slavery. Through abolition, civil rights, and women's suffrage, we've become better and stronger as a nation. Today, the United States is home to people of all races, including more than a million Chinese Americans. They contribute immeasurably to our way of life and to America's experiment in self-government. Secretary of State, I, I heard heartwarming reports from our diplomats that some of the longest waiting lines for visas anywhere in the world to come to the United States were at our consulates in China. Countless Chinese people want to visit, want to study, or even to immigrate here. I got to see, again, that America is special. America is good. And America does good around the world. Chinese Americans know that America is an exceptional, multiracial democracy that spans a continent. We attract more immigrants than any other country in the world. And that includes victims of the CCP's genocide in China, including Uyghurs, and Tibetans. We need to teach our children that America is great, that we are not racist, and we should never give an inch. Americans call out discrimination abroad when we see it, particularly in Beijing's systemic racism in Xinjiang, Tibet, 
Inner Mongolia and elsewhere. The undeniable truth, the one that CCP doesn't want you to know, is that the most anti-Chinese force in history is the CCP. It was founded on a bankrupt Marxist ideology that killed tens of millions of Chinese people, launched a cultural revolution that destroyed thousands of years of Chinese culture, and can't admit that any of it was more than a mistake. It was a crime. I look forward to the day that the Chinese people will be able to participate in those same kinds of debates and fights for freedom that Americans have had since 1776. The Chinese people deserve far better.